Greetings viewers. India is attempting a historic moon landing mission, Chandrayaan-3. In this video, we'll overview 10 interesting facts you should know about Chandrayaan-3. From launch details to scientific instruments. Let's dive in. Fact 1. Chandrayaan-3 launched at 2.35 pm from Sriharikota, India aboard the powerful GSLV MK3 rocket. It carries a lander, rover, and orbiter to explore the lunar South Pole region. Fact 2. If successful, India will become only the fourth nation to softly land on the moon after the US, Russia, and China. Chandrayaan-3 aims to be the first mission to land at the lunar South Pole. Fact 3. This follows the Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019, which crash-landed after communications failed minutes before touchdown. While disappointing, the orbiter still operates. Fact 4. Modifications like more robust communications aim to improve reliability over Chandrayaan-2. The lander also carries 280 kg more fuel for course corrections. Fact 5. The GSLV MK3 rocket stands 5 meters tall and provides the thrust to propel the 3,900 kg Chandrayaan-3 towards the moon. Fact 6. Chandrayaan-3 will journey over 40 days before attempting to land on August 23rd. It consists of the Vikram lander, Pragyan rover, and an orbiter. Fact 7. There are three mission phases, Earth-centric, lunar transfer, and Moon-centric involving orbit, landing, and surface exploration. Fact 8. Once landed, the Pragyan rover will deploy via ramp to study lunar composition. It will operate for 14 Earth days in the landing area. Fact 9. Vikram lander carries instruments to study moonquakes, heat flow, plasma, and lunar gravity to reveal subsurface properties. Fact 10. Chandrayaan-3 will attempt the most precise lunar landing ever. At under 5 meters per second horizontal velocity and 2 meters per second vertical velocity, Chandrayaan-3 was launched aboard India's powerful GSLV MK3 rocket. Weighing 3,900 kilograms, it consists of an orbiter, a lander called Vikram, and a rover named Pragyan. Once landed, Pragyan will study lunar geology. This follows the crash of Chandrayaan-2 in 2019. If successful, India will join an elite club of nations softly landing on the moon. Mission Phases Chandrayaan-3 has three distinct phases. The first Earth-centric phase covers launch atop the 5 meters tall GSLV rocket and Earth-bound maneuvers to orient the craft. Next is the 14-day lunar transfer, a complex journey to the Moon's orbit. Finally, the Moon-centric phase brings the risky challenge of achieving a precise landing. Scientific Goals The lander and rover will study lunar quakes, heat flow, plasma, and gravity to reveal subsurface properties. Especially important is searching for water around the South Pole. Building on Chandrayaan-1's discovery of lunar water molecules. The orbiter will also map surface composition in detail. Advanced Technologies Chandrayaan-3 uses cutting-edge technologies mastered by ISRO likes autonomous navigation and robust communications. The lander has upgraded avionics and carries more propellant 280 kg extra. For course corrections, improving the chances of a controlled descent. Intended landing site. ISRO has chosen a challenging landing site. Between two craters at 70 degrees south latitude just 600 km from the lunar south pole. The area has unique geology to study but requires a very precise approach and touchdown. Mission Challenges Experts note navigating to the rugged South Pole, avoiding hazards during descent, and surviving the harsh 180 degrees Celsius night are major hurdles. However, overcoming these will expand India's capabilities. Interview with ISRO Scientist This is a very ambitious and difficult mission. But our team has analyzed the challenges closely and significantly improved our systems. Comparison with Artemis While having similar goals, Chandrayaan-3 differs from NASA's Artemis uses an indigenous GSLV rocket and targeting a precise polar landing site. But both expand human knowledge about the moon. India's space program goals Chandrayaan-3 represents one step in ISRO's long-term goal of manned lunar flights and eventual lunar habitation through its Gaganyaan program. 
But robotic missions come first. Conclusion. Chandrayaan-3 demonstrates India's pioneering space abilities while aiming to benefit all humanity through lunar science and discovery. We wish them success. Please like and subscribe for more on India's space ventures.